Trey. As most high school hockey fans know, the Greyhounds and Lumberjackets are no stranger to one another. So we decided to take a closer look at this rivalry that seems to grow bigger with each new season. Webster defines the word rival as one of two or more trying to get what only one can have. And that certainly applies to East and Cloquet. Two teams playing a game in which only one can win and knowing that it will take their best effort to beat the other, which is nothing new when these two teams meet. It's just always been a huge rivalry since we were, since Pee Wee's and Bantam's all the way up, even in JV and stuff, you always wanted to play Cloquet and always beat them. It's, it's always been intense. Uh, both teams the last couple of years have been pretty strong, so it's pretty much been a fight for the conference and section and so on. So I think that plays a big part in it. There are a number of sources that help to contribute to this rivalry, such as the students and athletes who know one another and each school's tradition of excellence. Both current head coaches agree the players make this rivalry what it is. We've been fortunate that we've had some good players and uh, that's made our teams better and we've had a good team so naturally the rivalry is a natural. I think it's one of the biggest rivalries between two high schools in any sport in the state and uh, because of that it's, it's been excellent uh, games and uh, you know it's been exciting to watch for the fans. The last time Easton Cloquet played in the section final current Bulldog Rusty Fitzgerald made East a winner. But the recent history favors the Lumberjacks, winning the team's last six meetings and seven of the last eight. But the players say those numbers go out the window when the puck drops tonight. This is a whole new season. This is sectional. This is the new season that's water under the bridge. This is a whole new season. It all starts now. It's not, it's not anything that's been brought up again. You know, it's, it's uh, not going to be fuel for fuel for the uh, Thursday night's game. It's just we're going to worry about, you know, getting to the state tournament because that's, that's our dream to start with, and uh, that's all we're going to worry about. Like any heated rivalry, emotions can get high. Such was the case in their last meeting at the barn, and neither team feels there will be a repeat of that incident. I don't think it'll ever happen. Whether it was a playoff game or a regular season game coming up, the kids have put it behind them, and uh, we can't go into the game worrying about that. We I really would be very surprised if there was a problem in this game, and I think, again, the emotions get so high, and there's finger-pointing Denise Duluth at Cloquet, and there's finger-pointing in Cloquet at Duluth East. What happened? What happened was unfortunate. Nobody's proud of that. I think both teams learned from that, and now here we are both in a section final, and we've had some classic games with them, and I don't think this game will be any exception. And even as the years go by and former rivals become teammates like UMD's Rusty Fitzgerald and Rick Morozik, their answer as to who will win tonight remains unchanged. I think uh, East will show them up, though. A little overtime victory, I feel, coming on here. Okay. And, of course, that's Lumber Jacks, not Jackets. And tonight we'll add yet another chapter to this ongoing story. Still ahead, we'll preview the All-Northland Section 7A and 2A finals, and it's tournament time in Wisconsin as the Superior Spartans are in Madison. We'll tell you how they did. But before we do, let's hear again from two more players on what a win tonight would mean to them. First of all, it would be a very big accomplishment to beat East in the section finals. Um, to go back another year would be uh, probably more special than it's been the last two years. Um, this season, at one point, we were 4-4, four and four, and the guys, you know, we, we had a meeting, and we, tur we really turned the season around, and it's been just a great season. Back in Pee Wee, is pretty much the same team we have now. We uh, went to the state tournament, and we said, I can't wait till our senior year. We're going to get there again, so hopefully. Tom Sidor.